Hey everybody, thanks for coming back. I've got another one for you. Um, today we're just going to do a basic Solomon, and I want to do two things. I want to introduce you to the shackle and how a shackle can be very beneficial to you. Um, instead of the regular buckle like I have on my left hand. The right one is the shackle. This is the matte, matte finish black. Um, the nice thing with these, I'll get down on here for you so you can see what's going on here. Um, let me show you how you're going to start with one of these. So, you're going to use this just as, a, as you would a regular buckle. Now, you're going to do your cow's hitch. Well, I'm just going to jump right into this so you can see. I, I, I got to do this before I can explain how the, how the buckle will work, just so you can see what's going on. But to start with these, you're going to do your cow's hitch on the portion that is U-shaped right here. So we're just going to take our two ends, and, and here I've got about nine feet of black, and I just went down through the U, the U part of it, going to open those up, grab the two ends and pull it through, and we're going to put our cow's hitch right here on this end. So there we go. So we have a cow's hitch there. Now, instead of you know going up through the buckle, you just you're gonna go. Oh well, I flattened the end so they don't fit through here quite right. So um, what I'm gonna have to do here real quick is heat these up. I'm trying to make them a little bit rounded so that they'll fit through there a little better. There we go. I was planning on using a buckle, but then I forgot that I had the shackles, and I haven't done a video on the shackles yet. Um, if you do a lot of bracelets for like fundraisers, or you need something that kind of gives you a range of different sizes, one way to do it is a shackle, um, and it's because they're adjustable. So now I have my left, my right cord in my right hand, so I'm just going to take that through this top hole on the shackle. Okay, and then I'm going to take the left one, and I'm going to go the opposite way through, if it'll let me here. Yeah, there we go. Just got to poke it through there. There we go. Okay, so you basically just crisscrossed inside that last hole there. We're going to pull that through to give us our loops. Oh, there's one. And there's your other. Now, the nice thing with the shackle is that you have this pin here. You unscrew it, you pull the pin out, and then you have three adjustments that you can make. So if it's if it's all the way at the end, that's your full extension. Then you can move it in, and that gives you about a half inch smaller buckle. Actually, it's about three quarters of an inch smaller. So you have a three quarter of an inch you know, variation. You have three different spots that that, that pin can be in. And you don't have to set it um, I mean, you, you can set this wherever you want. So after the bracelet's done, if you think it's too big, you can move it. You can take it out and you can move it a different hole. So that's the advantage of having a shackle. I sell these for um, two different colors, the matte black, and then I also have the, um, uh, the stainless steel. Those are on boardparacord.com. So the uh, bracelet I want to do today is I want to do a red, white, and blue. Um, I want to do a red, white, and blue bracelet. I want this to be the same length. So go about there. I, I want to be able to wear this one. <laughs> OK. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to do the standard Solomon. And I'm going to add three colors. So that's the point of this video is to show you how to add three colors um, to a Solomon bracelet. So you take your left side and you cross over your two center strands. Take your right side, cross over the left, take it around the back. The back meaning go underneath the two center strands and then feed it through that loop that you created on the left. And go ahead and pull this on tight right up to that adjuster. So they call this the shackle, the U part of it with the pin. This is called the adjuster. 
you can you can do this also without the adjuster it's just nice having having that all right so once we get to this point where I'm gonna do the next one so you went over the right over the top two or over top of the two inner strands so you're gonna continue with that same one so if you take it to the right just remember that it's on the right and then you're gonna cross it over to the left so the one that's on the top stays on the top it just goes back and forth the one that goes over top around the back that one's gonna go over top and around the back every time and then we're gonna pull this through but don't pull it tight yet and the reason being is I want to show you we have three holes here and I'm gonna grab uh, I've got a set of fids around here somewhere well I'll use this just to show you where these three holes are we have one the center one and the left one those are my three holes so what I want to do is I've got some extra scrap pieces of paracord here I'm just gonna feed um, let's see I want to do the white in the middle so we're just gonna feed you know I don't know leave about five inches out of the back we're gonna do the blue on the left get that to the left get this one up top and then we got a red one we're gonna put that on the right side okay now go once those are fed through and you got some excess back here go ahead and pull that nice and tight Okay, and then get that tightened up right to the top so you've got three strands here so on this first one I'm gonna start with the white I want these to alternate kinda of like a weave pattern so I'm gonna move this white one right inside with the, the two center strands and we're gonna work right around that white one so we're gonna take our left one over the top create a loop on the left take our right over the left around the back and up and through Okay, pull that tight now you're gonna have this little bit of slack in the white right there kinda hard to see with the white background but just pull that tight alright now get that one up out of the way we'll come back to that one in a second now you're gonna take your red and your blue and those are going to be in the center now so we took the left one over the top now we're going to take the right one over the top create that loop on the right cross your left one over that go around the back up and through and pull her tight cinch it up Make sure you're getting all your slack pulled out of there, which right now there isn't a whole lot of slack. All right, get those guys out of the way. Now you're going to alternate back to your white. The white one comes down. I'm getting a pretty high-pitched buzz coming off one of these lights here, so let me switch lights here. There we go. Sorry about that. That was really loud. All right, so now we get the red and the blue out of the way. Now we're off to the left side over the top, so left, over the top, create that loop on the left, take your right strand over that, go around the back, through that loop, pull her tight, cinch it up, so when I, when I say cinch it up, just grab your center strands, and then push the whole thing towards your your other buckle or your on this case the the adjuster okay now we're gonna move our white one up and our blue and red down so we're just kinda weaving these right now okay and the last one we took over the top to the right so then we're gonna start with the right take that over the top again go around Take it around back, up through the loop, and go ahead and pull that on tight. I don't know if there's a name for this design. I just wanted to show you how to put three different colors into the same bracelet. All right, so there's that. You're just going to keep alternating your middle and your outsides. 
So we got our outsides are up now. The middle one comes down, acts like a center strand. And you just do another one. Super easy. Great way to add color. I'll show you what to do with the extra colors once we get down to the bottom. And then we'll have ourselves a three color bracelet. Or in this case we actually have four with the black. This is a good way to do... Uh, you could use white as your neutral color and then if you got sports teams it would be a great way to get three colors. Also most countries and their flag have three colors. would be a great way to do that. We got a red, white, and blue, so that's great. And I'm going to finish this on up and I'll be back. Okay, so let's take a look at where we're at here. So basically if we peel back all three colors, you can see there's only a little bit of room left to finish this. I would say two passes. So when you have two more passes left, you know, you have room for two more knots, then kind of stop with that. Um, do your last, well... Well, let's see, how can we finish this? So what I'm going to do at this point, when I pass the white one, like I'm going to do here, actually, the red and the blue come down at this point. So I'm going to pass over the red and the blue, and then that'll be the last time that they get passed. Okay, so we'll get that little slack out of there this pulled tight. Okay, so I'm going to cut the white one at this point. Okay, so the white one will be done. So we're going to cut that. I'm going to singe it right in that spot. i find my lighter here. i got a mess on this, uh, my workbench. Alright, we're going to try to do this with this one here. Let's see if I can hit it. I can't. <laughs> these these lights are too bright. I can't see the flame on that torch. That torch is a great lighter, by the way. It's just when I got all these lights on, I can't see the flame. I can hardly see the flame on this lighter. All right, so get that nice and liquefied. That way, when you press it in here, it's nice and smooth. There we go. Okay, now. So we just passed the, the red and the blue, so we're going to get those out of the way. And then we're going to do our last pass on this one. And then we'll singe, we'll cut and singe the red and blue right where they come up out of there too. Now get that one pulled about as hard as you can. Get the final bits of your, your uh, uh, what do you call it, slack out of that. I'm going to cut the red and the blue here. Blue, red, might be able to get both of them in one shot here. Great thing with using black is that if you do burn the ends right here when you're melting them, they just match. They match the black. Alright, yep, I was able to get both of those in there. And then use a rocking. If you use a rocking motion, it gives you a real nice smooth edge there. Okay, so we're good there. I'm just going to cut the ends here. I won't, I won't bore you with this, but let me, uh, let me at least get these cut for you, and then I'll go to the other side. There's a lot of pieces that you got to cut and singe. So you're going to cut the blacks off, singe those just like we did the other two. And then on this side, this is the back side of the bracelet, you're going to do the same thing. Pull all your slack out that you can, cut it, singe it, and make sure you use a rocking motion with whatever metal tool that you've got. Um, the nice thing with the metal tool is that it's nice and cold, so it instantly solidifies, but it also gives you a real nice smooth edge. And because this is going to be on the back side of the bracelet, you want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, so... Now, to connect your bracelet, all you're going to do is line up your holes, wherever you want this to go, and one of the sides of the shackles is slightly bigger than the other. It's because you're going down through that, and the other side has the threads that you're going to thread into. So you just push it through, tighten this up. This little thumb screw has some real good grip on it, but if you want to get it nice and tight, 
and I would get a pair of pliers and you can really wrench on it but just remember you have to have that pair of pliers to get it off again um, but there you have it that is how you add three colors to a Solomon bracelet again thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and paracord on